Hey guys, Derek Cook here with another Man Cave review. Uh, this is what I'm getting ready for right now, some late season pike fishing uh, under ice here in Ontario. And I want to just share with you for one minute one of my favorite strategies going after late season pike, uh, which is gentle bottom bouncing with the Kamuki smart fish, particularly in this case the green tiger pattern. Um, I've been fishing late season pike under ice for years. Uh, the pike start to wake up, they start to feed more actively, it's a great time to go after them. But a lot of guys don't really know why they're catching pike late ice. They figure they're just waking up pre-spawn. Uh, they don't necessarily know exactly how to target them. They continue to use a lot of uh, high fat dead baits, you know, frozen uh, fish, uh, even from the grocery store, which works fine, but has a really limited ability to attract fish. And the reason that I really like fishing the Kamuki smart fish under ice for late season pike is that it is a perfect leopard frog imitator or even bullfrog imitator. A lot of guys that are picking up late season pike notice that uh, if they keep them to eat them uh, or if they just catch them with some forage in their mouth, they'll notice occasionally that there's a frog leg in their mouth. And they don't really know why that's happening. Um, most guys think that leopard frogs and bullfrogs bury themselves in mud all winter to hibernate and that they're not really accessible to pike and that's just not the case. Leopard frogs and bullfrogs, uh, Google this to confirm it if you need to, actually rest just on the surface of mud below the frost line. So they bury themselves, uh, they don't bury themselves, they, they rest motionless just on the mud because frogs need to breathe through their skin. Turtles will bury themselves in mud, other reptiles will bury themselves in mud, but not leopard frogs and bullfrogs. They actually rest just on the surface of mud. Now, normally these frogs are found in really shallow water, but current often will take those frogs, or wave action often will take those dormant frogs and will flip them into slightly deeper water. So if you have a strong offshore wind uh, with some wave action moving out, or if ice moves back and forth and disturbs some mud, often these leopard frogs and bullfrogs will end up sitting motionless in deeper water, um, way out from the frost line in 10, 12 feet of water or, or even deeper, where the top predators can get at them. And the frogs, not really knowing what's going on, they stay dormant all winter. Uh, so you'll often have late season pike who are regularly encountering leopard frogs resting on the top of mud who just start to wake up and who just start to twitch. Uh, as the water warms up to about 4 degrees or so, 5 degrees, the oxygen content, the water is very high, the frogs have enough oxygen through their skin that they can actually start to move. And that's when the pike pick them off. The pike can barely smell them in that cold water, but as soon as they start to twitch, they move, which is often why bottom bouncing a bait in, the, in late season for pike is so successful because those pike are actively looking for that slight twitch on the bottom that can emulate a waking up bullfrog or a, or, or a, a coming out of dormancy, coming out of a, a form of hibernation leopard frog. And that's where this bait is just remarkable. The Kamuki Smartfish, particularly in the 2.5 or the 3 inch size, uh, even up to 4 inch size for late season pike, can be uh, dropped into mud to raise a cloud and then sit on that mud very much like a frog would sit on that mud just sitting there and just twitching it, just barely twitching it. If there are pike in the area, you can use it obviously as a rattle bait. It's got a very strong ceramic rattle. You can use it as a rattle bait, as a calling bait to bring those pike in. Uh, but if you're marking fish, really, you just leave that on bottom and you just twitch that bait like a leopard frog waking up. You can tip it if you'd like with a small minnow head or something for some scent, but often it's not necessary because pike are accustomed to seeing those leopard frogs sitting right on the top of mud, right like this just waking up and starting to twitch as the oxygen content in the water is right for them and the water warms up just a little bit and they're starting to wake up. So I've got a whole range of smart fish, obviously, that I'll be taking with me fishing. One of my favorite baits. And uh, I'm hoping for some outstanding action on some late season pike who are feeding on those leopard frogs that have been swept out from uh, inshore areas and are simply waiting on the mud to uh, wake up and get gobbled up by a big pike. So again, Kamuki Smartfish for late season pike emulating frogs sitting on the top of mud. Google it yourself. You'll find that it's right. They don't bury themselves in mud. They sit on the top and they are just a pike buffet in the late January, early February, even up to the beginning of March as those frogs wake up and, uh, and start to twitch. So have fun yourself and uh, good luck on the ice.